starting my costume for tomorrow because I like to do last minute things for a haunt. Um, and plus I can use this other day to do other haunt. But um, it is called the uh, Head Case Experiment and I have to make um, a medical halo like they use when your neck is broken. I have to make a prop one of those, so that's step one. I have to make cut off limb pants, step two. And then make sure it's all painted and attached on. So, here's me starting. Here's all the stuff that I'm using to make the halo. I have hanger tape, and I already cut it. You can use um, like wire cutters to cut it, but I just bend it back and forward to cut it. And I have screws. So I have like screws, and here's some more, and some bolts and stuff. And so far, I'm, I'm aging the metal. So far, this is what it looks like. I'm going to add some rust color on it. And I just cut it to fit around my head. So I have to finish coloring that, painting that. And this is what I'm using. I'm using this to secure it. It's going to attach to my back. And then I'm going to use more hanger tape to go on the sides. And it's going to look like it's impaling my chest. And I'm just using acrylic paints to color this. And then, and then I'm cutting those pants, adding some foam in there, and uh, some latex and some cotton. And it's going to look pretty. Okay, everything is pretty much painted. I have the main halo painted. back support painted. I already attached the back support. I'd use masking tape to attach it, but it kind of just adds to the crude look of it, I suppose. And plus, this is going to be, I'm in a wheelchair, so it's going to be behind me, and not a lot of people are going to see it, but I think it still looks okay. And it's supposed to look pretty crude and brutal, so. So that's the halo, the main part of the halo, and this is the main back support. This is what's really going to hold it on me and then the rest is just kind of for decoration and so I have that I have the two what's gonna look like the supports that are gonna go into my flesh will look like they're going into my flesh and I have those all painted kind of aged them and rushed rusted them with metallic paint and some uh, brown and some black and a little bit of metallic copper so that was with acrylic paint and then I sort of painted all the bolts. I kind of wanted to I kind of wanted to leave um, the screws kind of clean just because they're going to get covered with blood anyway and also because haunts are at night so I wanted it to be able to show up in dark lighting but I did the ends of them kind of old and rusted so And now it's just coming the assembling part. So time to move on to the next part and assemble it all and then start on the pants. My dog is watching. So I won't be done. Okay, now I'm going to make the cut off legs of my costume. So it's uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna look like amputated legs like botched amputated legs so here we go okay so i'm starting my cut off legs part of the costume these are just some jeans and i put styrofoam at the end of them to kind of make them look stubby i guess and so i'm going to take some liquid latex and some cotton and some paper towels and stuff and kind of give it some shredded flesh and whatnot and then I'm going to paint it with acrylic paints so I have my baby powder over there 
the dust of latex, all my paints, my latex, paper towels, cotton, all that good stuff. So, let's get started. Okay, I finished the latex process and powdered it. That's why it's not white, but I powdered it so that the latex wouldn't stick to itself. So now, So, here we go. The masking tape holds pretty well, though. <laughs> that really just happened. Uh, what yeah. was that? She was. Like, <laughs> like, what was it? Was that blood? <laughs> nah, she like put the straw in her mask to drink it, and then she like she like went to take it off and flipped the whole straw. Over. Oh, I like that. That's a cool mask. Yeah. Not gonna right? How's it looking, Tim? Are you watching what he's doing? Yeah, looks good. You can do a little on the actual pants. <laughs> okay, we don't want it to look massacre. Just. It does look like really massacre. He just likes touching on you. I know, he likes touching on you. He's been waiting for years. Since you met him at the at the um All right, now I'll, I'll at the lockers. You just want me to be like Yeah. There we go. In my arms. Start up high though. Yeah, it's gonna be and be you can touch your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Jess just wanted to do it because she wanted to touch her boobs. We know. I've been there for y'all's late night cuddles. Uh, New York, we straight up cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> I bet y'all are fucking freezing. <laughs> She's like, I so. Okay, that's cool. That's plenty. You don't want it to look. No, go downwards, not sideways. Straight down like they're. Like it's dripping. Yeah, because I, I was trying to get more over yeah. the chest because I went. Yeah, okay, that's it, good. It's soaked okay. in when I put Okay, and now I have to do mouth blood. Hand me mouth blood. Hand me mouth Hand me These are so delicious. It tastes like candy. It doesn't the pump come out. Doesn't work. It's gonna take a little. What do you mean the pump doesn't work? Yes, it does. Too thick. No, it it's too thick. Jess and me and Dee tried to use it. It's too thick. Well, it's. Okay. Open it. 